Hi, my name is Sala and I'm your 2020 Science Ambassador. I've got a little bit of a different video for you guys today, but first, we gotta get to class. Let's go! So over the summer, I participated in a really fun program called Sophomore College at my school. And basically, you take a three-week summer class over any topic. And so the topic of the class that I was in was electrical engineering, which I'd never done before, but it was pretty fun. And basically, as a final project for our class, we had to come up with any sort of, you know, device or gadget and um, work in groups and basically put it together and do all the code and all the testing. So I documented the whole process and in my video, I'm going to show you guys what my project was. So my group decided to call our project the Bike Bestie and essentially what it was is a device that's kind of used for bike secure and you can put it on your bike and it has a toggleable alarm. So when you turn it on and you, you can leave your bike and anyone who tries to move your bike will trigger the alarm and then you can always turn it off when you want to move your bike and then you'll be able to move it just fine. Second, we had like a beeper function because a lot of times we feel like we lose our bikes in the parking lot. So we wanted to be able to use that same speaker for the alarm and just play like a beeping sound so it's easier to find it. And so we decided we didn't want to have people have to carry on like a separate device or remote control. So we wanted to um, use Bluetooth to control the bike alarm through an app. Oh, this is called a block diagram and it basically just shows all the different components of our project. So the main microcontroller that's kind of running everything thing is over here and it's called the SAM32 and it's got a couple of different things connected to it. So first is an accelerometer and the kind of connection that it's connected through is called an I2C connection and this basically will just sense for the bike's motion. Um, then we've got through an analog connection where we've connected a speaker and an amp to the SAM32. When the SAM32 tells it to, it'll play the beeper noise or the alarm noise. We've got a battery that's connected to power the whole thing and then connected to the SAM32 via a connection called a SPI bus. We've got this um, Bluetooth module. This this Bluetooth module connects to the mobile app and so the mobile app will have two functions it can do on and off and then it can beep and then this entire thing is connected or basically contained inside the case um, and then that goes through attachments onto the bike and that definitely seems like a lot but with the help of our TAs Courtney and Liana and our professors John and Steve we were determined to get it done okay so right now we're trying to get this speaker to work for our project and we're having a really hard time with some libraries that we're trying to this import. Is the we don't know what's going on. It's part of the process. Google, what's okay, is it, is it in? Yeah, so my guess you is... You want to just go for it? The, um, yeah. Spy, okay. And use the spy platform that exists. I hope it doesn't break. Right. So you're going to have to, instead of that, import the... Um, uh, out of the like, water uh, water yeah, there's an the error. Ah. Yeah. So we got the speaker to work. I don't know if you can hear it. But it's just way too quiet for what we need and when we try to get it to be louder in the code we get like an overflow error so it's looking like we're going to need to do something with a different speaker. So we are we have an alternative speaker that Mariana's trying to get um, to work right now and uh, that's because an amp so hopefully it should be a little louder. Update, it did not work, so it's back to the drawing board. So class is over now, we're gonna head to dinner, but we just got our speaker to work, we got everything hooked up, and we even got it to play a wave file of our choice. Things are going good, and I had to pack up, but I'll see if I can show you guys tomorrow. So right now we split into groups, and I am in charge of setting up the accelerometer. So this is gonna go inside our device and let us know if the bike has been moved. So I'm just gonna set up the circuit and then I will get to work on the code. The board is all set up, so it's plugged in. Um, this is just, these two are just for power and then everything else is called an I2C connection and it just gets data from here, puts it here so I can go run some code on it. All right, I can tell it is hooked up properly because as I move it around, um, the different data shows up on the graph. So just for testing purposes, I couldn't hook up the actual alarm, so I made the light turn red, and as you can see, while it's accelerating, the light is red. That's not exactly what I need, but it's pretty close. So we're heading to lunch now. I've got the basic part of the accelerometer working. I just need to make it more precise because there's like more special things I wanted to do besides just kind of move and then beep. Like it needs to be moving for a certain amount of time and certain distance. I want it to be able to keep beeping. So I'm just gonna go and iron out all those details and hopefully we can get that done after lunch. So right now it's green and that means there's no alarm. And so when I move it really quickly, that's red. So that would trigger the alarm and it'll stay red for 
Right now it's only about 10 seconds, but we'll change it to be like, maybe like two minutes. And so now it's back there again. So if somebody else tries to take it, the alarm will sound again. Hi everybody, it's been a couple of days because we had to move into our new dorms. We have hooked up my part, which is the accelerometer, to Elizabeth's part, which is the speaker. And we've got our code going. Right now it's armed, which is why it's green and no one's trying to steal. If you move it, it is the alarm. Super, super sick. Mariana's still working on the Bluetooth. Once she gets that done, we can import all that and try to get it all connected so we can actually control the stuff with the buttons. We need to start catting the case. Okay, I'm in my room now. I'm just trying to design the box that's going to hold everything together. So let me show you what I came up with. So basically it's gonna look something like this and um, this is like a hole. So you basically open up the, the box and then there's gonna be like a little hinge here, which is what you see right there. And you can close it around your bike. And then these we have some L brackets here that we're gonna use and you can stick a padlock through them so you can lock it on your bike. So we've got like a hole over here and that's where the speakers sorry, are gonna come out of. But I don't really understand how we're going to get the speakers to stick on that. As for how I'm gonna manufacture this, I think I'm just going to print each face and then for where these corners are, I'm gonna put L brackets on the interior. Okay, so I basically just organized them now into a nicer picture so I know exactly what I need to CAD and print. What is it supposed to do? If I push one, it's supposed to print. None of these are, okay, well it's connected, uh, but the code. I started cutting the box and I started ordering the parts, but then I was looking at measurements and I realized this thing is gonna be freaking huge. Like I'm talking the size of one of these four by six pictures. So that kind of sucks. I don't know, we might try to make it smaller in class. We all got really tired because we've been working for hours. So get to work tomorrow in class. So see you then. Okay, change of plans. It turns out that we do not have a printer, so we can't print our thing. My SCAs said that since we have access to a laser cutter to actually laser cut the design, we're gonna make like teeth and we're gonna fit the sides together. So I'm working on that now. Elizabeth has a surprise for you. Check out the app. Oh my God, the beeper works, you guys. Are you proud of us, Liana? So proud. We're stuck. We can turn it on. We can't turn it off. Yeah. Basically, when we turn it on, it puts it in a wild true loop so that it can run the code over and over and keep checking if the bike has been moved. But the problem with that is that when it's in the wild true loop, it's not taking any more Bluetooth input. Thus, we can't signal to it that we want it to turn off. We need another strategy. We got it to work. Super sick. Um, Elizabeth's pulling it up right now. I'll show you what we have. She's accessing the mainframe. Try one first. So this is the beeper, and that's if you're trying to find your bike. Um, now we can arm it. Okay. So now it's armed. Someone tries to steal it, it goes off. Someone tries to steal it again, it goes off. And now we're trying to leave, so we're gonna hit that. Sorry, it's a little, it's a little quirky. And now you can move it, and it's fine. Today is Tuesday. I'm just making like formal drawings because I decided since our symposium is tomorrow, I want to let my professor cat it. So I'm just drawing like the measurement for everything that I need. He can make the cat and then we can laser cut it and put it together and hopefully it's really cool. We're going to make a uh, thing here like this. And now we're going to, we're going to cheat. We're going to mirror some entities here. We got some bad news. So the Amazon packages with some of our parts is not arriving till Saturday, which is bad because this class ends on Friday. So like we're gonna go and do get some other parts from like Home Depot. Instead of catting the holes to the parts that we had, we're gonna end up now drilling the holes in acrylic, which could be a little crazy because it could shatter. It'll be fun. So I finished catting. Professor helped me out a lot and he's just gonna go now and like add the teeth. And tomorrow we're gonna cut it. Updates on the rest of the project. Mariana is hacking. She cleaned up our code a lot and then it was having this issue where it was lagging and I think she fixed that. <laughs> and then Elizabeth is soldering up the final circuit. Final circuit. It's a little, it's a little haphazard. It's the final circuit for a prototype. Final product. Just kidding. This is the prototype that's all soldered together. So hopefully it works. Today is Wednesday, it's the day of our symposium, and I am putting the teeth on our model because my professor couldn't finish it last night and he just showed me how to do it this morning. Hopefully it all goes well.
So here I'm putting in all the little indentations that will like fit together interlocking. Um, it was pretty tedious because I had to just really make sure that everything would line up and that everything was consistent, but um, I got it done. I am all done with the CAD and now I'm gonna go and get this laser cut. So this video isn't really clear, but essentially um, I'm using the laser cutter in the lab and it's just etching out those shapes that I was making earlier. So yeah, um, basically it will give me acrylic pieces that represent each face of the box and that's what you see here, but I was really stressed that I messed up somewhere in the calculations and that they wouldn't fit together. We are at the symposium now and we're going to try to put together our box pieces, so let's see what happens. I have a surprise for you guys! It fits! Just going to need a little bit of glue reinforcements and we tried it all on Elizabeth's bike and it does fit over the step, which is where we intended it to. It doesn't take a lot of space. I mean, it takes up kind of a bit of space, but not too bad. We might just try to like make that the final box, if that's okay with you guys. As soon as we get the hinges and get the padlock, and get the accelerometer glued down and get the battery. It's over for these bike thieves. Yay! Mariana and Elizabeth did some really cool things while I was working on the box, so I just like to show you. On the app now, it will tell you oops, when your alarm is enabled and then when it's disabled. Yeah, it's just working really well, and I'm really excited to show everybody else what we've done. Hi everybody, I'm back in my room. Soko Symposium was a huge success. I didn't really get a chance to show you the box, but um, here it is. Basically, it's these piece of, pieces of acrylic like this. They just fit together, kind of like Legos. It's hard to do this with one hand. And so it's a little bit shaky, a little bit precarious, but that's what it looks like. And I have the other half here and there's the hole for the speaker. It's basically what I did. I'm super happy that all the pieces fit. Probably try to find some hinges from the physics storeroom or maybe our hinges will come in from Amazon finally and um, we can put the whole thing together and yeah I think tomorrow Elizabeth and Mariana are gonna solder up like the final circuit that's like really neat get that battery on there and the whole thing should be good to go so I'm really excited to show you guys so this is from the next day and basically I'm putting this adhesive into the cracks and it kind of melts the acrylic sort of set so the um, sides of the box stick together without anyone having to hold them so we are back downstairs and we've got a box and it actually stays together now. Today the plan is um, Elizabeth and Mariana are gonna work on the final final circuit with everything, but we only have this battery and we need a smaller one because this one does not fit in the box because we did not design the box for this kind of battery. And the other thing that we need to do, get the hinges to like put the box box together. So basically what I'm doing now is soldering the final circuit. Um, if you don't know what soldering is, it's basically a way of like making an electrical connection. And so the stuff coming out of the green tube on the left is a solder and I use the iron to kind of melt it onto the two components so that they stick together and that they're connected and the current can flow. We've got a hardware store haul. I went earlier today. We got this hinge for the box and this L bracket for the box. So now we're going to drill and put them on and it should be great. I marked the locations for the drill bits and we're gonna drill the holes now. So now we're putting the holes in the box. If you're wondering what the tape is for, some of it is just to hold the box together so it doesn't move while we're drilling and the other um, function is that it's easier to draw the holes on the tape than on the box, so yeah. Sometimes it's easier to have learned before doing. Yeah, you know, I had this conversation with a guy so now with all the holes drilled, I basically sat down and started putting everything together and it was pretty fun but kind of tedious and eventually I had to get a hex driver to really screw everything on tightly because it was really hard and really awkward angles, but it turned out well. Um, okay, Mariana's first impression of the box. What do you think? It's so pretty. What do you think? I love it. Yes, it's and perfect. you guys have all the things, the wires on? So I yes. guess now it's time to do some fitting. Let's see if this will go right. in. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It looks very neat and nice. Yeah, for sure. Yay. Here. Okay, so SAM32 here, then accelerometer there, and we just use the, well, actually, no, wouldn't it be the Z? Because this is going up on your bike like, like yeah. this. Okay, so we'll, we'll figure it out and then change it. We can put it here and then these guys just connect underneath. Back in the lab for more soldering. I'm gonna put the speaker on the amp. So Mariana is just putting the battery JST connector onto the battery so we can plug it into a SAM32 and she's using this heat gun to get it to shrink on. Before
before this update, we had to have it plugged into the laptop, but now we have a battery, so. Oh my God, look, it's portable, you guys. It's portable. Hit it again. Shake it. <laughs> Oh, I, it did the reset. He found that like sometimes the buttons would lag and then we could fix it by resetting the code. So you just added a reset button and Okay, we went back to the soldering irons because a lot of our pins were falling out of the boards. So we just fixed them all up and now everything's actually done. Tomorrow, oh, we're gonna solder the wires together tomorrow. Today, we're just gonna cut them to the right length. 30 minutes left of class, you guys. I'm in the basement at Packard and I came in a little early and I'm going to cut the wires. So wish me luck. Also, today's the final day of the project. So hopefully we get everything done by three because that's when our presentations are. We are going back from lunch. Spent the whole morning soldering. We finished right before lunch. We were like, yeah, let's test it out. It didn't work. We think there's something up with our Bluetooth connections. Is this work? Um, <laughs> Could be, but you could take it. No, but how do you so tangled. Okay, it's on Elizabeth's bike. Like, we low key had to hold it together with a hair tie because our padlock didn't come, but here it is. Do you want to test it out? All right, Elizabeth has connected up to her bike. Okay, enabled. Okay. Nice. Disable. Nice, good work. <laughs> Who's ready for the demo? You ready, Mariana? Enough YouTube yeah. videos. Stop. All right, everybody. So we just got back from our demos. Our project worked. Couldn't have gone better, to be honest. And yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed seeing the insights, like the ups and downs, the what was working, what wasn't working. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later this year.